Sometime between 1810 and 1815, Sarah Batman was exhibited at freak shows, almost naked, with a leech to her neck, often alongside animals in London and Paris, because of her enlarged buttocks and elongated labia. When her life was cut short at the age of 26, her remains were further exhibited at a museum for more than 187 years before finally returning home to South Africa in 2002. Hola people! What's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca. I am from Kaduna, Nigeria. You know this already. Today, we will be talking about 10 controversial aspects of the life and time of Sarah Bachman. But before we get into those 10 controversial aspects, let's consider her story. Sarah Batman, also known as Sarge J. Batman, was born in the year 1789 in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. She belonged to the Khoikhoi ethnic group, you know, which are known for their distinct physical features. Her life took a tragic turn when she lost her father, her mother, husband, and only child. In search of a better life in the city, having left the village, she was cajoled into leaving Africa for Europe in the year 1810 by an entrepreneur called Hendrik Cesar. In Europe, Sarah was exhibited due to her physical attributes, particularly her enlarged buttocks and elongated labia. She was paraded in various shows and exhibitions, predominantly in London and Paris, where she was objectified and exploited for public amusement. Sarah was given the derogatory nickname Hotentut Venus, considered as an offensive term associated with primitive sexuality and ugliness. Sarah's exhibition became a symbol of racial stereotypes, colonial exploitation, and the objectification of black women. Her story sparked public debate about racism, human rights, and consent. Tragically, Sarah's life was cut short when she died in 1815 at the age of 26. After her death, her body was dissected and preserved, and her remains, alongside with a plaster cast of her body, were displayed in museums in France for almost two centuries, remember, 187 years. In 2002, following years of advocacy and efforts by the South African government and activists, Sarah's remains were finally repatriated to her homeland. Her burial in South Africa marked a significant moment in the ongoing struggle for justice, restitution, and recognition of the historical mistreatment of black individuals. Sarah Batman's life and the treatments she endured during her time in Europe were highly controversial. So here are 10 controversial aspects of the life and times of Sarah Batman. Number 10, the exhibition itself. Sarah Batman was exhibited as a spectacle in European freak shows and public displays, attracting a wide audience curious about her physical characteristics. Some accounts mentioned that she was exhibited alongside animals. That's quite sad. She was objectified and dehumanized, reduced to her body and physical features, particularly her buttocks and genitalia. Sarah Batman's exhibition and display were driven by financial gain with individuals profiting from her exploitation. I learned that Sarah could speak lots of languages because of her ability to grasp new languages faster. So she was an intelligent woman, but due to the state of her physical features and the contract she had signed with the entrepreneur who took her to Europe, she was rather displayed as frictions and people would come around, pay money to watch her, to sit close to her, to have a peep into her physical features. She was reduced to her own body image. In fact, there is an account that a coalition of people in Africa fighting dehumanization, racism, colonialism, and the rest of them took Sarah's case to court in Europe. And when asked, you know, the judge asked Sarah, were you aware? Did you give consent? Did you agree to the kind of shows you put up to? Sarah answered yes to all of these questions. And trust me, that case was thrown out of court. So Sarah had to continue living this life. Number nine, scientific racism. Some scientists and scholars of the time used Sarah Bartman to support racist theories, arguing that her physical characteristics were evidence of black inferiority. In fact, I read that Sarah Bartman was subjected to invasive and degrading medical examinations, which were conducted for 
some hidden purposes and to further racial stereotypes. Number eight, consent. The circumstances under which Sarah agreed to be exhibited are unclear, raising questions about whether she fully understood the implications of her participation. An account said she defended her exploiters, but what I think happened was a sunk cost trap. She probably felt trapped. She felt she had given so much, she has done so much than to stop at this point and go back home. So she would rather continue and see if there'll be more money. She was, she, you know, she kept on following the promises of her managers at the time. So she felt she had given so much, she had committed so much into this cause. So why will she leave at this point when she has come thus far? So I think it was a sunk cost trap at this point because even when they took her to court, when the case was taken to court rather, she had the opportunity to, to have voiced her points, to have voiced what she wanted because she understood she understood english clearly she spoke dutch she spoke french she understood everything going on so it was not a match she could not write yes but she could hear she heard when they read out her, her contracts she heard when they argued the case in court so she could have just spoken out at that point to say you know what i did not agree to all of these things but i felt she she had committed so much that she was trapped in this in, the, in this whole scenario in this whole circumstance and she just decided you know to to go on with it it is also believed that Sarah may have been coerced or manipulated into participating in her public exhibition. But in all of these, whether she gave consent or got coerced, Sarah Bartman's agency was severely limited and she had little control over her own body, image or personal decisions. I think beyond consent or coercion, uh, the exhibition itself raises questions about ethical considerations and the boundaries of entertainment, human rights and consent. Number seven, colonialism and human trafficking. Sarah's exhibition can be seen as a result of the colonial mindset and the exploitation of African people during the era of European imperialism. This also speaks to modern day, you know, present day human trafficking because Sarah Batman was essentially trafficked from South Africa to Europe where she was then sold to her managers, you know, her exhibitors for financial gains. Number six, public shaming. Sarah was publicly shamed and ridiculed. She was being displayed as an object of curiosity and amusement. I read that at some of those freak shows, people would pay extra to sit at the front rows. Guess what? Some men even paid more money so they could sit very close at the you know, front rows and have sticks to poke her body to check if what they are seeing is true, just to confirm that their eyes are not deceiving them and that she's not padded, that this body belonged to her. They want to know is this true so they will poke they will touch her they will use a stick to you know touch her body to ensure that it is real there are also people... accounts of her being paraded naked leashed you know caged and alongside animals such a painful memory number five posthumous exploitation even after her death sarah batman's body was further exploited her remains were displayed in a museum in France for nearly two centuries before being repatriated to South Africa in 2002. Number four, impact on body image. The objectification and fetishization of Sarah Batman's body perpetuated harmful beauty standards and distorted perception of black women's bodies. In fact, some scholars said that the European women started sewing dresses with elongated backsides. Many others felt that there's something wrong with African women. I mean, there are a lot of tribes, even in present day Africa, who are really endowed. Is it our fault that we are really beautifully and wonderfully made? Come on. Number three, legacy of pain. Sir Batman's story represents a painful chapter in history, highlighting the systemic oppression and racism faced by black individuals. Number two, lack of justice. Sarah never received justice during her lifetime and her exhibition continued even after her death, further perpetuating the injustice she endured. There were lots of story, lots of controversy around the nature of her death. 
some said she died as a result of infection that she was really infected with syphilis gonorrhea and all of those because at the later part of her life having lived the first part of her life in london and the later part in paris where she died you know which is why her body was kept in a museum in france you know it was said that she was later given into prostitution and a lot of drinking so she had lots of alcohol in her system so there are accounts that she died as a result of infection following the path of prostitution and there is this other part that she died as a result of taking lots of alcohol so alcohol actually affected her liver damaging her major organs so these are the issues around her death number one cultural restitution sarah's case sparked conversations about cultural restitutions and the repatriation of human remains and cultural artifacts taken during the colonial era her body was brought back about 187 years after. So this is raising, you know, other questions about many artifacts taken away from, say, Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, a lot of African countries, you know, to Europe. Can we start the conversations? Can we continue the conversation, rather, that these things be repatriated back to their homeland? This controversial aspect of the life and times of Sir Batman underscores the importance of addressing historical injustices and working towards a more equitable and respectful society. I hope you are able to pick one or two things from this video. I would love to hear from you. Kindly use the comment section below. Till my next video, be good.